Have you ever done a Google image search for a member's logo and it didn't come up? That's because they haven't properly optimized their images on their website. So I'm going to show you actually quite a few steps to optimize your images for your website. And all of these are going to be a part of on-page search engine optimization. But again, we're focusing on just the photo part. So I'm on a website called Tiny PNG. And actually what I'm doing is I'm uploading one of my photos and it's going to compress the photo. So what we've done is we've used this free tool to make my my file size smaller for this picture without losing a lot of quality. The reason we're doing this is because if the file size is smaller, then the whole web page will actually load quicker. This may not seem like a big deal for just one image, but the more stuff you have on the website, the more this will affect it. So before I upload the photo to my website, I'm actually going to change the file name to be something more descriptive. So the rest of this tutorial is actually going to be specifically in WordPress. Um, you can kind of follow along and take away the key points, but as for the step-by-step -step in instructions, it's really only going to be applicable if you use WordPress to manage the content of your website. So I'm in the media section of my WordPress website, and I'm going to add a new file, and I'm going to go choose the file that I compressed and updated the file name of. But just because I uploaded it doesn't mean I'm done. I'm actually going to update the alternative text in the description as well. So for the alternative text, we want something that still includes a keyword or um, something that very well describes the image. Um, but we also want to keep in mind that alternative text is used for um, blind people. Um, so it's actually going to say this text out loud. So we want to make sure it makes sense to somebody that's only listening to it. And again, for the description, I'm probably going to put something very similar to the title. Um, and if you know anything about long tail keywords, this is where you'll, you'll definitely want to utilize those. So WordPress has already saved my changes automatically for me. And now when I go into my blog post to edit it, I'm going to add the image from my media library. Because as you can see, it's already made the changes I made the default for that photo. And then I just would hit save and update. So over time, I'm hoping that Google is seeing all of the updated images that I have added. And it's looking at these files and all the name changes I've made to realize that we're an authority on whatever specific topic um, we've been including. This is not going to make a very quick change to your website, but it's supposed to be an ongoing long-term goal for on-page search engine optimization. And I know a lot of that sounds really wordy and big words and very techy, um, but, but even if you only stood a little bit of it, just the few changes that you can do, like having the correct file name so that it's easier for people to go in and search for you, it's going to make a big difference in the long run. So I hope you found this useful. Please put any comments or questions you have below. Um, I, I would love to I would like to talk a little bit more about this topic, but I want to make sure I'm doing it in a way that's actually helpful. Um, so if you have any feedback or I completely lost you, please let me know down below.